my dudes, my guys, my freaking boys, today we're going to be porting this PRB intake manifold. Um, I haven't done one of these yet. I do a lot of RBCs and stuff like that, and somebody had one of these and wanted me to try to check it out. Um, so the first notice, not notable thing on here is that it has a six bolt plate that allows you to get into some areas, but I think I'm still going to have to cut the top of this out to port it how I want to port it. Um, I haven't really seen any pictures of these things ported. Um, it does look like you could open up this whole plenum. Um, I'll show you guys the inside, but it looks like you could knock out all of these runners and just have one huge plenum in here. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is just shape the runners. I think that'll be the best idea here. Okay, so typically speaking here, what the PRB intake manifolds are used for in the Honda world is more of a torquier intake manifold. The RBC makes more horsepower, but this makes more torque. So these are kind of common in like road racing and stuff like that for people that do stuff like that. This particular application is going to be for a dirt track car, looking to make a bunch of torque to get out of the corners and stuff like that. But uh, <clears throat> the way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna keep this plate off here, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out of here so I can get into, so I have full direction of the runners. Like I said, you could probably knock those out, but I think it'll be best if they got like little, it looks like almost like velocity stacks. So I'd like to capitalize on that and see if we can use that to our advantage. Uh, also something else we're gonna have to do is this throttle body opening here, uh, without measuring it, looks smaller than an RBC one. Uh, we need to open this bad boy up a bunch. So gonna knock that out, gonna knock that out. And these sides, I normally just kind of clean them up. I mean, they feel kind of junky down in there. I normally just try to clean them up a little bit. You're not gonna make a ton of power with porting this open and not porting your head because essentially what you're doing then is just creating a brick wall for the air to hit going into your head. So normally don't worry too much about that, but let's get this cut. All right, now you can kind of see what everything in here looks like a little bit better. We should be able to get down in there how we want to get down in there and clean up what we need to clean up. So, time to get the port and let's get to it. All right, so here's what we got so far. I know I got like went over on a couple spots in the middle, but it's opened up a few millimeters more than what it is factory. Um, I don't really have the tooling to get like down, down in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean all this stuff up. I'll try to clean up some of this stuff in here and then uh, open up the throttle body and then I'll update you guys after I get all that done. I almost messed up and didn't show you guys this before I close it up, but you can see we got her ported up pretty good. Everything's nice and clean. Got the throttle body side opened up to 74 mil and got the bottom, you can see it's all cleaned up in there. So now I put this plate back on because I didn't want to weld this back up and have this move around. So I bolted this plate back up. Now we're going to throw our other plate back up on top and then weld it. All right, we are all welded up. Everything's all ported out. I am done with this. Can go ahead and have my buddy pick it up. And if he lets me know any uh, dyno numbers, um, I can let you guys know in the comments below. So if you're watching this when this just came out, they're not gonna be in there, but they'll be in there after, hopefully. So thank y'all for watching. See y'all. Oh, also, if y'all need this done, hit me up. See ya.